We begin tonight with new details. After almost two decades of no answers, local and national organizations are working together to solve the identity of a Jane Doe found right here in East Texas. Fox 51's Frank Jefferson shares with us what they know so far. 19 years ago, the State Department wanted to widen Highway 135. When construction crews went to Glade Water to get soil samples, they came across the unimaginable. They located a, a skull and a rib bone. There was no evidence and no clothing. After sending her remains to a local medical examiner, they concluded her body had been there for about two years, and she was between 16 and 30 years old. There's no indication of homicide or anything since very little of her was found. The Gregg County Sheriff's Office sent her skull to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, who discovered a clue. From what I read in the reports, they determined that she had the cleft palate. This new identifying mark was a lead, but they needed more help. Well, we've been working on it for about four or four and a half months now, doing the actual genealogy research. That's where the DNA Doe Project comes in, a nonprofit volunteer organization specializing in finding the identities of unidentified people who have died. We wanted to help out any way we could, and so we came in and uh, helped get everything lined up with the labs for the DNA testing. This is the same group that helped solve one of East Texas' greatest mysteries, Lavender Doe, also known as Dana Lynn Dodd. And we've had some big clues in the case. Almost all of the DNA matches go back to a, the same geographic area. That geographic area is almost a thousand miles away. Investigators believe Jane Doe is from West Virginia, specifically Beckley or Raleigh County, Surrey County, North Carolina, or Patrick County, Virginia. One of the biggest questions in this case is how Jane Doe got from West Virginia to here in East Texas. And investigators, they've got a theory about that. It's a road that has an entrance, exit and an entrance to the interstate. It would have been easily, you know, for a trucker or somebody to pull up there and dump her and then get back on the interstate and go. Leaders at the DNA Doe Project say their best bet is to reach out to her extended family members. They were able to find them by extracting her DNA. We can get it in front of eyes in that West Virginia area, southern West Virginia. That would probably be our best bet. To put the puzzle pieces together and finally put a name to this face. Frank Jefferson, Fox 51 News.